Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, your girl's been buying a bunch of clothes, okay? I've been buying a bunch of clothes, kind of like shifting my style and I want to show them to you because I know I, you guys love when I show you my clothes. So, let me sh start with this shirt. Oh, I forgot to turn my light on. Hold on. Okay, now I got my light on. So this shirt right here is from Free People. I have been shopping there a lot because one, they have a choice of afterpay. A bitch cannot just go in and buy a $100 shirt. But if it's broken up into four $20 payments, that's cool, I could do that. And so the afterpay, I have been like heavily relying on afterpay for my purchases um, of these beautiful clothes that I'm about to show you. So this shirt here, I should have got a medium um, because this part right here, okay? So if I wore a different bra, I do have this really cute um, eyelash lace bra. Um, that's like a, it's like a decorative bra. It's like a pretty bra, not like an everyday bra. This is my everyday bra and it's got the same type of look, but it's just not the bra to wear with this shirt. Now, I'm probably thinking if I got a medium, it would have fit better up here, but it's okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah. So, like, if I pull it down all the way and to where it feels the right way, my bra is totally out. <laughs> and that's not good. But if I pull it up to where it's supposed to be, this part is all flappy and weird. So... But I love the sleeves. I love the um, lace look. It's so pretty. And uh, yeah, this other thing I got, I'm not going to try this on for you because it's totally see-through. You can see it still has the tag on it because um, I had been, like I just finished paying this off. This dress was $130. This shirt was, um, I have the tag right here. Hold on. This shirt was $78 from Free People. And this is a large, should have got a medium. Uh, but yeah, this is um, Intimately. I, yeah, this is from Free People as well. This is called the Keep Me Up Maxi. I can like try it on a little bit for you. It is so beautiful. And it makes me feel like a... Um, like one of the, like I've gained a little bit of weight, like 10 pounds recently. And so things are going to be fitting me a little different. So you can see there, you can't really see the sleeves with the thing, but, um, you, I've got like little dresses and stuff that to wear underneath it. Um, I can also, you can also wear like some decorative, like granny panty type underwear black underwear with this um like little shorts is cute i've got a little strapless dress or strappy dress um from polo that i've had in my closet for years and years that would look really cute under this uh yeah it is just it's got this slit right here it makes me feel fabulous and beautiful and expensive <laughs> which is my favorite feeling this is actually cute with this shirt with this top, it's actually really cute. Uh, yeah, but I've not worn it yet. This dress is a medium. Um, not worn it yet because I plan to wear it for summer. It's like a summer type dress. I can just imagine doing full moon rituals, like nude in this dress out in the garden. Oh, how I would feel so magical. Okay, so let me change into this next top. Okay, this top is also from Free People. Uh, this was $40. It's got a built-in bra, and it's like really stretchy, okay? Super stretchy. This is a medium. Uh, I probably would have sized up a little bit in this, like a large, only because the, the sleeves feel really, really tight on my arms, but it's nothing, like I would still wear this shirt. I really love the color. I love the fit. I love how it feels. I love the neckline. Like the square neckline is really in, I've noticed these days. Um, and it's got a built-in bra, which is like, oh, 
anything with it. Well, I mean, the built-in bra has to be good. It's not so much a built-in bra as like a built-in sports bra because you can see it goes down here and it goes all the way around so you don't have any of those you know you don't, your fat doesn't like back fat or anything doesn't bulge out so you have like smooth lines um this is so like this is the softest fabric i've ever felt it feels like a super expensive swimsuit if you can he hear lucy in that room excuse him he just meows incessantly oh my gosh it's so annoying but yeah, this shirt is so cute. They had it in a few different colors, I think. I can't remember the colors though, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a super comfortable. It's so stretchy and like I feel so secure and like everything feels like in, you know what I mean? So let's, let's do the bend test. If it, like cheap clothes, if I bend down, my boobs pop out. Like, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? So like you have to like, with other clothes you got to adjust like that this I feel like I don't have to adjust like kind of just place the girls where I want them um, and pull this up just a tad bit and yeah it is so super comfortable and so soft I'm telling you guys I'm like a really tactile person and this is like dream fabric like seriously I don't know where they got this fabric but it's amazing so let me try on the next top Okay, another free people top. And oh my gosh, you guys, look how sparkly. Look how freaking sparkly. I feel like Britney Spears. Britney, I'm Britney Spears. Anyway, this top was $60 from free people. You guessed it. Um, and it's sequins, you could see, obviously. Uh, but it's not, so most sequins tops that I've ever tried on, cheap ones at least, they're itchy. They're scratchy. They don't, they feel really awful. This top does not feel that way. It's got like a silk, really soft lining. Okay. And these straps here, they can come, you can take, you can untie them. So if it's down here like this and you can't get it, just grab it and pull up. Okay. <laughs> Very easy. And you can pull the girls up or you can leave them just where they're at or do whatever you want you can tie this as like a, like a halter top you can do a lot of things with these straps and they're like silky they're really smooth so this top is so cute just love it it's gonna be a great summer top i tend to shop opposites in different seasons so like in the winter i'm usually shopping for summer clothes and in the summer i'm usually shopping for winter clothes um i don't know my mind just works weird but yeah this top is so cute uh yeah let's go to the next one now y'all have seen this on my instagram this shirt uh this shirt is from reformation um now, I almost don't want to tell you how much this shirt was because it makes me sick, but um, the quality, the, the feeling and the quality is so evident to cheaper clothes that I used to buy um, that I, am, I don't feel guilty about this purchase, okay? Now, this shirt was $130. I know, I know. Makes me sick as well. But... They had afterpay. <laughs> so I was like, I could pay 40 bucks every two weeks. That's cool. For And, and you get the shirt before you do, you're done paying for it. So like, it's super cute. It's super well made. Um, it's got like a really cute, like that square neckline again. The straps are really, really solid. It's a silk um, shirt. And it's got a double lining um, all the way up. And it's got this um, stretchy bit right here. So, and it's got a zipper as well. So you don't have to, I just pull it on over my head, but you, if you've got people or whatever, you can unzip it and zip it. You can do that to take care of it a little bit better. Um, this is the nicest, one of the nicest shirts I've ever owned. 
and I love it. I'm gonna be in this all summer because it like it just looks so good on me, I think. It's the perfect color green and it's got all these beautiful flowers all over it. Um, it just it's and it's the right length because a lot of my um, bottoms like my skirts or my jeans or my anything like that my skirts um, skirts jeans pants they're usually high-waisted because of past fashion that's kind of like fading out right now <clears throat> and I think um, when clothes hit me right here it makes my body look better it fits my hourglass body better uh, and I'm not like, I don't know, low, low rise jeans are not for me. Those are the devil. And any millennial will tell you that they're the devil. They give you like, seriously, if I was wearing like, look, this would, this is what I would look like if I was wearing low rise. Like I don't have the body for low rise. You know, I've got a mommy tummy. Like I've had three kids and three C-sections. Okay. Um, so this is my mother, this is my mommy tummy, you know, and high-waisted jeans hide that <laughs> insecurity of mine very well. Um, I was very lucky to have not, uh, been gotten a bunch of really noticeable stretch marks, but I was like paranoid about that from like day one of pregnancy. Even before I got pregnant, I was like, I, I, like, I was freaking out about it. I don't know why I was freaking out about it. Um, but all through my, all pregnancies, I would lather myself with cocoa butter. Like, every single day. I never missed a day. I would just lather myself. And I think that saved my skin um, from getting stretch marks and stuff. So, but we're getting off topic here. I think, oh, no, I got two more items that are cheap that um, I bought that are really, really disappointing, but I wanna show you because they're cute. Um, but yeah, they're just cheap and ugh, so. Okay, before you say anything, yes, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware, I'm aware. But, okay, this is from Cider. If you are have the same taste as me or whatever, if you're on the internet a lot, like all of us, you have probably seen ads for cider. The cute, the clothes look so cute and they're so cheap and you're like, oh my God, I want that. And so you buy it and they have afterpay as well. So I paid $3 every two weeks for this shirt. And I will tell you, even at that low, low price, <laughs> I want a refund. A girl wants a re, your girl wants a refund because one, the glitter on this shirt, you can see, gets all over the place. It's just everywhere. Um, two, this is supposed to... Okay, so I know it looks weird how I'm wearing it, but it, this is how it was advertised. To be like a one-shoulder, over-the-shoulder thing, you know? Cowl neck, like t early 2000s sh like classic shirt. The shift in the color of this fabric is amazing. I love it so much. I'm so drawn to this like opalescent purple blue glitter moment thing, which is why I bought this shirt. I was like, yeah, 12 bucks. Oh my God, like give it to me. And then I open it and I'm like, this smells funny. And it's not done well. Like there's no, you can probably see my boobs through this, so I'm sorry if you can. I hope you can't. God, help me. God, help me. Um, there's no second lining in this shirt, so it's just like a thin, uh, it's itchy fabric, okay? It does, it, even when you wear it um, with the, the straps going, you know, over your shoulder, two shoulders, it feels like it's sewed wrong. It feels like it's off. Um, like all, this is, it's just a mess of a shirt, honestly. So here's the back. Um, yeah, I haven't taken the tags off of it. It's a cute, like the concept of the shirt, like if it was done right with good fabric, I, this would be my absolute favorite shirt, hands down. Every day I wear this shirt because it's so freaking cute, but like there's too many cons. It's itchy. It's, it leaves glitter everywhere. Uh, it's not, uh, 
sewn right or cut right it feels like all day. if I was to wear this out or something all the whole time I would be adjusting because I feel it feels like it doesn't fit me right it's so like I can't explain it, you know it's like I don't know it feels funny it feels like it's just not right something is off about this shirt it wasn't done right it wasn't done with care it was just like thrown together and thrown out the door oh so disappointing I have shown this to you on my Instagram as well. This, um, I got this from Cider also. This was, I think, about 20 bucks or under 20 bucks. It was really cheap. Uh, <laughs> we know why, okay? So, for one, this is a large. This Look at the sleeves. Looks like I'm wearing, like, a toddler's hoodie, okay? Like, it's supposed to be like a cropped corset type hoodie, right? What cute concept. If you're going to do a cropped corset hoodie, you have to make sure the sleeves are long enough so it doesn't look like you're wearing a toddler's sweater, right? <laughs> um, two, my second complaint of this, the fabric. It's cheap. It's itchy. It smells funny. It smells like a pair of Payless shoes. Literally, that's what it smells like. If you've ever been in a Payless and you're sitting there putting on shoes, the smell, that's this hoodie, okay? That's what it smells like. Uh, second, these strings right here. Look at this. I've, I've never even worn this hoodie. I've, I've literally just taken a picture in it. Not even taken the tags off. I just took a picture of it. Look at the fraying on the the string. This feels like, look, they're both fraying. This feels like, um, like work boot shoelaces. That's what this feels like. Stretchy work boot shoelaces. Third thing. Okay. It was at, look, the glitter's all over it from that last shirt. <laughs> Third thing. It was advertised as a corset hoodie. Okay. So it's got the look of a corset, but it's like, there's nothing. There's no structure to it. It's actually really, um, like when you wear it, they're not like these parts right here that are supposed to be the boning in a corset. They're not even straight. They're just like wobbly. It's just a fail all the way around. The whole thing is a fail. It's a cute thing, shirt. That's why I took a picture in it. Cause I was like, Ooh, that's cute. Um, cute concept, cute, everything like the, the design, the color, all of it's cute and if you've seen me in this from far away you would probably say oh my god she's so pretty or cute and then you get up close and you're like a girl like where did the hell did you pull that fucking sweater out of you know that's what it's like anyways guys um i hope you enjoyed this look at some new clothes that i bought i hope it inspires you to go buy yourself some beautiful things even if they're even if you think, oh my God, I'm never going to, like, I can't bring myself to do that. Uh, just do it. You deserve a beautiful uh, t-shirt, a beautiful dress, anything that makes you feel, you feel beautiful. You deserve it. Stop telling yourself you don't deserve things because of whatever reason, okay? Stop being mean to yourselves because you guys are my friends and I stick up for my friends and I'm not going to put up, put up with y'all putting yourselves down, right? We're not going to do that this year. This year we are on our hot girl game, on our on our shit, okay? We're going to we're going to be like good to ourselves. Putting up boundaries, not letting people take advantage of us, not letting ourselves bulldoze ourselves. So, when you want to say no, bitch, you better say no. When you want to say Y'all need to leave. I'm tired. You better say it. Don't just be walking around the house slamming stuff and hoping people's going to read your mind because there's a lot of us autistic people out here who cannot pick up on that shit. If you speak in riddles to an autistic person, you're going to get nowhere with that person. Okay? Speak up, straight up. Speak your mind. Tell people exactly how you fucking feel and exactly what you expect from situations, okay? I love you all so much, and I will see you again soon. Bye!